guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are taking a look at the new Be My Eyes application that was just brought out for Windows. I have it right here in my start menu. And this is, uh, it's Be My Eyes, but it's actually pretty much just the Be My AI feature that is now running here on Windows. Before we get started though, let me show you how to install it. We want to go to the Microsoft Store because this is just an application that we are going to download. All right, I did a search for Be My Eyes and here it is right here. In the upper right corner here, since I already have it, this button says open, but if it was not installed on my system, it would say get. So in order to get this application, just click the button here and it will automatically install. Once you have it installed in your system, you can launch it and you do need to sign in. So it's a free application, but you do need to create an account. And since Be My Eyes is one of the most popular mobile applications in the blind community, I'm sure most of you guys probably already have an account. So just sign in with that information and you'll be good to go. We have two tabs up here in the upper left. You have the Be My AI and the settings tab. Be My AI is this here. This is the main interface. You have four blue buttons at the top. These are your four different tools that you can use. Below that, you have keyboard commands for these four tools. But those four tools here, the first one is describe my screen. This will take a screenshot here and describe what's on it. Next, you have take a picture. This will launch a camera that you have connected to your computer and let you take a picture that way. You have describe picture. These are all very confusing, but they're all slightly different here. It seems like it's the same thing, but they're all different. Describe picture here. You can upload a picture and it will describe that. And then finally we have describe clipboard. So let's do a quick demo of all of these. Okay, first things first here, I've got an image of myself wearing an Iris Vision, reading a book. This was used for my recent Iris Vision video, but I'm gonna use Be My AI to describe this. So I'm gonna click describe my screen. And it essentially takes a screenshot and displays the screenshot up here at the top. And now it's processing and it just came up with the description here, displays that text underneath the screenshot. Down at the bottom, you have a section to ask a follow-up question. Now, it only displays the text of the description. There's no way for the program to read it out loud. Uh, I would love if they would maybe put like a play button or something, some way for this to be read out loud through the program but they don't have that yet, maybe in a future update. Uh, so we are just going to use the Windows Magnifier Reader to read this out loud. The image shows a bald man with a beard wearing a black shirt. He is using a virtual reality, VR, headset while holding and reading a book. The background is plain and light colored. And there you go. So like I said, down here we can ask a follow-up question. Like what color is the VR headset? and puts it up there basically like a chat dialogue here or text dialogue and then it just responded with the vr headset is black and there you go okay next we'll click take a picture and this is going to launch a camera that you have connected to your computer i've got a camera here my top down shot and I've got a letter here that uh, one of my viewers wrote me. So I'm going to put that under here and we are going to click the button down here that says take a picture. And the same exact interface shows a screenshot of the image and it is processing and will display the description just like this. So let's see what it says. The image shows a letter placed on a wooden desk. Here is the text from the letter. April 4th, 2024. Sam, I've been watching your YouTube videos for quite a while now and have enjoyed them very much. All right, and it works pretty well. Did a pretty good job of uh, describing that scene, which was the letter. Next, we have describe picture. If I click on this, it's just going to open a file explorer here and I can load in an image or a document and it will describe that for me. And then finally, describe clipboard. 
Now, one thing to note about this one is it doesn't describe text. So if you were to highlight text and control C, copy that text, it's not going to describe that. It's essentially describing images that are saved in your clipboard. For example, I'm here on my website and I want it to describe this image for me. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click copy image. Now, if I go back to be my eyes here and I click describe clipboard, there is my image and it's going to describe this for me. The image shows a man with a beard wearing a virtual reality headset. He is standing in front of a brick wall. The text on the image reads, the best place on the internet to learn about assistive technology. There you go. And those are the tools currently on the Be My AI or Be My Eyes application running here on Windows. Now, one thing to note about these keyboard shortcuts that I discovered is that if you are running Windows Magnifier, some or even all of these shortcuts don't seem to work. At least they haven't for me. For example, this one describes screen is Control Alt H. Windows Magnifier is running. If I do Control Alt H, nothing happens. You guys can hear me hitting it. Nothing happens. Control Alt L, nothing happens. Control Alt J, that one works. But if I turn off Windows Magnifier, okay, Magnifier is off. Control Alt H, there, works perfectly. So that's maybe just a little bug that hopefully they will work out um, very, very soon. Not that big of a deal, really. But that's it, guys. This was a first look at Be My Eyes, or more specifically, Be My AI, running on Windows. If you guys install this on your system, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you have any questions for me, leave those in the comments as well. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe because I put out content videos just like this every single Saturday. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching Sam of the Blind Life. I will see you next time.